my trust in always looking for and finding the good in people has been lost in the last two years. Here on the Camino, I was allowed to find it again. I have to thank my Camino family for that. So let's say welcome to day eight on the Camino and a friendly hoo hoo <laughs> to all who are watching. <coughs> be us. Yeah. Today will also be very physically, but uh, that will only really become clear at the end. Uh, from Logroño, we are going to Najera, 28 kilometers. Cool. Slowly, it becomes clear what a way this really is. We leave Logroño at dawn. Mike and I left at 6 a.m. I had a good long sleep and really wanted to stay here, but I felt way too good. That's why we are continue today. 28 kilometers to Najera. And there I'll have a small hotel room for a small penny. 20 euros or so, or 15, I don't know. Not much. A room just for me. I have earned that now. After seven days. So, see you on the road. Behind Lavagno, a white, rather dry country is waiting for us. Colors are dominated by ochre. At the beginning, Mike and I are still up to jokes. But tonight, we will both limp <laughs> around in such a way that one could have a feeling that we are just learning to walk. Maybe Carl can help us with a secret miracle cure. We will see. After about 14 kilometers, we are in Navarrete. Navarrete. It is warm and the place is, how should it be different, on a hill. In the Middle Ages, it was probably considered the gateway to the region of Navaje, which we just left behind. By the way, now we are in the region La Rioja. Time for a break. With sandwich and coffee. What else? Yes, here we found a bar. Yeah. And there we spent half an hour. I discovered a new blister on my foot, which I had to treat first. Today it's another 28 kilometers, but somehow it is harder today than yesterday. My feet hurt and I'm making slower progress. So today we, we just take our time. But there's a nice hotel room waiting for all of us tonight. We're looking forward to it. That day is exhausting. But uh, somehow it's nonsense. Actually, every day is exhausting. That's what you always hear. <laughs> That's what they tell me. It doesn't matter if you take a break. 
it doesn't matter. Every day is exhausting. Somehow, life is just like that. No matter where you want to go somehow, whatever goal you have, on the way there it, it will hurt sometimes and sometimes even longer. But you go on anyway. Uh, I, I, look kind of, I look kind of funny, right? <laughs> I need to wash my hair. But the scarf is cool. I never thought I'd buy something like that. It's really one of the best pieces of clothing I have with me. I can do without everything. I don't need pa pants I, or shirt. But this scarf, this is really it. Yeah. We are stopping here right now on the highway. Uh, we've got about seven miles to go. Now I'm going to show you the whole... Um, wait a minute. Oh, he just honked us. They are really friendly here. These signs show us the way. And these signs here you see everywhere along the way. They help you find your way. So, I can't get lost here. So far I am doing quite well. I have pain in my foot, pain in my shoulders, but it's okay. I hope you all are well too and I would be happy to hear and see something from you. See you later. I don't know about you, but when I think about what is really important in life, I always come up with my own family. Family. And that's why I'm also leaving a little message to my loved ones on this section of the Camino. And then I reached the monument of the little pilgrim. Personally, I decided not to feel addressed. It is a bit windy up here. While I'm resting, a question suddenly came up to me. What is Karl doing right now? I haven't even seen him yet. This is There's Karl. I've seen him. There he is. Haha. <laughs> By the way, I told Karl about the pain in my feet, uh, and he had a clue for me. More at the very end of the video. So here on day 8 things are going okay. I spent the first few hours with Mike, I walked with Mike until we got to a place where we took a break. Then we parted ways. But these first hours were really exhausting today. I had a new blister and my feet actually hurt the whole time. And only when we stopped for breakfast in Navarreta did it start to feel better. Now it's another hour and a half to Najera and then I'm looking forward to doing laundry, but today is really a hard day. I can tell you, the eighth day.
After another hour of walking, I actually made it. Now the hotel is not far away. I have arrived in Najera, 28 kilometers from Dogonio. Oh, I'm pretty tired. My feet burn like fire right now. Wow, now I get something to drink. Then I check in. And then I do laundry. Then I rest. And then I go out and get something to eat and drink. Today, I think it's a little bit chaotic. I arrived in Najera and my feet are not doing well. They really hurt. First, it was all, all okay and then they started to hurt. I'm moving around with a bit of a limp right now. It is wonderful. Such a small hotel, small room, a shower. Wonderful. First, I had a shower and on the second, the, the first floor, there are washing machines and dryers. That is, I then immediately washed my clothes. And guess who also is there? In the next room, Mike and Carl. And I think tomorrow I'll take a short tour to Santo Domingo. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Now I'm going to look for something to eat. Mike and Carl sent me their location and I'm going to see what's going on there. In any case, I'll get some nice cold drinks. Uh, I'm just asking, do any of you need a washing machine? Hola. Buen camino. I'm walking on right now. Did you see what I said from him? Give it. Give her. Meal was good. A mixed salad before they had a Spanish omelette. Then we met the Greeks again. The Greeks? <clears throat> the Greeks, the Greek couple. They also stopped by and Pablo stopped by. Most of the Camino actually took place in the evening and the Camino itself was just exhausting today. So it, it was beautiful. It was. It was actually only partially nice too. It was only 50% nice. So there was a huge part along the highway. It wasn't that nice. Half of the day I walked with Mike and the other half I walked alone. And then I took a video and actually broke my selfie stick. When I tried to take the phone out of the selfie stick, my selfie stick broke. That means I have to hold my phone by my hand now. Shit happens. As I said, today was 28 kilometers approximately. My feet hurt more than ever today and I discovered one or two new blisters on my feet. Now I'm still running like somehow someone who's uh, just learning to walk or whatever. Nevertheless, tomorrow we continue to Santo Domingo, but that's only 4 hours and 40 minutes, so it will probably take me 7 hours. <laughs> we have already booked for tomorrow. Carl and Mike will continue to stay by my side, which is also very nice. Oh, um, I have to show you that. I have to show you that. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful installation here. And we've actually also said today that this is actually quite nice when we are traveling with the same pilgrims again. This really seems not to be yeah, the season to walk. It's uh, the off season with the weather and all that stuff. Yeah, but it's the weather is good enough. You can start walking now in, in, in March from all directions. So we decided it's nice to walk together. That's why we rented a three bedroom tomorrow night in Santo Domingo. Carl took care of it. And that's why I actually just have to get to Santo Domingo somehow. I'll start running at 6.30 and hopefully I'll be at my destination somewhere around 2 p.m. I have yes, uh, still, yeah, some, some things beside 
the whole community trip, something to do. Yeah, and I will do this then. There are a couple of villages tomorrow on the way, which means I'll have somewhere to eat breakfast. Food, as you might notice, is really a question. If you're planning on the, doing the Camino someday, yeah, food is really such a thing. So in, in the high season, around summer probably, it's not a problem because it is every, yeah, every restaurant is open. But now in the off season, not all restaurants are open, not all cafes. And it's sometimes the case that you really have to go out in the morning and wait for four hours until you find a cafe where there's something to eat. I don't want to talk too much. There are no spiritual insights today, no mental chapters that I'm opening today, but today is just an experience report. What is like in the Camino? You meet people and you connect with those people in some way. Today, for example, I felt connected with the mother of Petra from Australia and she also with me because we have talked for a long time. She told many stories about her family, why they left the Netherlands shortly after the Second World War and how they arrived in Australia and how they got their lives together there, which was much different than it is now, very different than it is now nowadays. But she went there by ship, bottom line. She said there was the best decision her father could have made. She has had a wonderful life in Australia. Yeah, sometimes things happen that you might think from the first moment, this is not so good now. But in the long run, it might be good. I don't know what lessons you can extract from that for the future. I don't know. We live in very different times today. Today, everything is somehow a bit yeah, partly safer and partly much more uncertain. You know what I mean? We all feel safe and yet we live in very uncertain times. Uh, that should be it for today. I don't want to talk too much. Actually, I have to find my hotel now. Where is it? I'm at the hotel. Oh, that's crazy. But to make this clear, the albergues. So when you go to an albergue, always take an albergue, definitely. From 10 euros to 15 euros or 20. It's great. You get a place to sleep, a place to wash, good company, and maybe the host will cook for you. That's all you need. So I call it a night. See you tomorrow on the way to Santo Domingo. See you then. What's that? Carl is calling. What's going on? Let's see what he's up to. Go ahead. Tell him what you want to tell him. Sebastian, do you want some CBD oil? Huh? <laughs> you seem a little bit too flighty for my liking, doesn't he? Huh? He's full of beans. He's had a couple of hours sleep. Look at how clean cut he looks. We ain't life finish with you. <laughs> <laughs>